Uh, so tonight we will be um, we will be selecting our um, our next board member. So we appreciate everyone who's viewing today and all of the candidates that showed up uh, yesterday and today. Um, as you all know, we've been uh, going through since January 16th a process to uh, interview a new potential board member. Tonight we will be selecting that uh, that that additional member. Next is Glenn Nelson. Good evening. I would make an immediate contribution for three primary reasons. First, I'm dedicated to public education. My dedication leads me to work hard. For example, I probably devoted at least as many and maybe more hours to the recent bond campaign than any other volunteer. My volunteer work at the Ann Arbor Schools goes back to the early 1990s when I volunteered for the Equity Audit Committee and it continues today with my service as treasurer of the Citizens Millage Committee, member of the Recreation Advisory Commission, and member of the Arab American Parent Advisory Group. My experience includes 12 and a half years on the school board. Second, I have experience in two areas that are especially important to the work of the school board in the remainder of this year. First, the board needs effective implementation of the launch of the bond. Citizens want to be reassured they did the right thing in approving such a large long-term bond. I was in the midst of bond oversight during my time on the board. The second experience, the board must provide the excellent education our children need and deserve in the face of an operating budget that limits our choices. This will require careful, logical reasoning by the board and the administration in a community-wide discussion of potential solutions. I bring experience to this task as a past treasurer of the board and as a professional economist. My past positions include senior staff economist on the President's Council of Economic Advisors and chief economist of the state of Minnesota. Another reason I can make an immediate contribution is that I bring two personality characteristics that are important to problem solving, especially in the context of a team. I am optimistic. I believe problems can be solved when we work together. I am also gritty, by which I mean when obstacles appear, and they inevitably do appear. I persevere in understanding the problem and finding a solution. Hard work is an essential partner to optimism in accomplishing exciting things. I have demonstrated both optimism and grittiness in numerous settings. I would be honored to join you on the school board. Thank you. So being that we have five votes for Trustee Nelson, um, which eclipses the four votes needed, I'd like to recommend for appointment, uh, Trustee, or for appointment, Glenn Nelson. I, I move, I make a motion to appoint, to approve the appointment of Glenn Nelson to the board. Okay, moved by Trustee Lazarus, is that a second? Second. Seconded by Trustee Gaynor. Trustee Basquette? Yes. Trustee Gaynor? Yes. President Johnson? Yes. Trustee, oh, Vice President Kelly? Yes. Trustee Lazarus? Yes. Trustee Lightfoot? Yes. All right, motion carried. Congratulations, Glenn. Okay, uh, first of all, you have to accept the office. Uh, just say, I do. I do. <laughs> well, let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> I do hereby accept the office of member of the Board of Education of the Ann Arbor Public Schools, Ann Arbor, Michigan. I do hereby accept the office to the Ann Arbor uh, Board of Education of the Ann Arbor Public Schools. 
Okay. <clears throat> now, repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Glenn Nelson. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And, and the Constitution of this state. And the Constitution of this state. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of member of the Board of Education. And that I will faithfully discharge the offices and duties of a member of the Board of Education. Of the Ann Arbor Public Schools. Of the Ann Arbor Public Schools. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. I just want to say I'm very honored to do this. It really is. Um, it's, it's just very meaningful to me. So thank you all, and I, uh, I do promise to carry through on that. Uh, optimistic and gritty, and I must say it's immediately gratifying because Trustee Basquette, Trustee Lightfoot gave me this seat. This is the chair that uh, I so enjoyed uh, and so appreciated being with these two colleagues on my left and right, although it might have been right and left at the last time. So anyway, thank you for making it special right from the start. Well, Glenn, we are so glad to have you back. And it was only, it only made sense to put you between the two of us. If you remember before, you mentored me on board. And as Simone came on, and I'll never forget the one night when you helped Simone craft a motion that you then voted against. Um, it was talk about teamwork. So I just wanted to remind you, you know, of that. So thank you. And here I was hoping Glenn would sit next to me. <laughs> Glenn, Sorry, Jeff. Glenn. I've known Glenn from the board for a long time, but what, what impresses me so much is I'd go out to the events in the community, discussion, social, social justice, um, just involving the community one aspect or another, and he talked a little bit about it, and there would Glenn be. It happened years and years ago, it happened in the last month, and I know I'm in the right place because Glenn is right there too. So very pleased to have you on board. I do just want to say thank you too for, for returning. We are so fortunate in this community to have some of the smartest constituents in the nation. I say that all the time and Glenn is quite modest. He's so renowned as an economist, definitely in our city, definitely in our state and I dare to say uh, nationally. We are just so fortunate that he had the time uh, and we get to have your brain power, particularly over these next few months as we lay out our bond work. Um, it's already prescribed what we do with the money. By law, we laid that out on the front end, but for those who are extra concerned and any way we can put an extra layer of um, assuredness in front of them, having you here will help us do that. So we're just, we're very happy to see you. Thank you. Yeah. Trustee Lazarus. Thank you. I just want to say welcome. I am so happy to see you on the board. Um, I appreciate all the work that you've done for the community. You were a big part in helping us pass this bond. It, we wouldn't have been, we would not have the bond if it wasn't for you. And all the work, knocking on doors every single weekend. You were out there and I felt really bad that I wasn't out there on some of those weekends. <laughs> but it meant a lot and I'm glad and I'm very honored to serve with you and I look forward to it. Thank you. Trustee Kelly. Thank you. Trustee Nelson, you are so eminently qualified. I'm, I'm really quite humbled to be at a table with you in, in this capacity as a colleague. So thank you for, for being so generous with your time and your skills and coming back to, to serve us in this way. Um, for those who haven't been following along, you've been really clear in your communications about this being an interim position, this being a position that you intend to fill through the end of the calendar year so that the board attracts um, highly motivated candidates to run for the position that then would begin to serve in January of 2021. Um, I hope you'll continue to talk about that and continue to talk about those skills on that campaign trail that I alluded to earlier. Um, and I'm just, um, again, really grateful for you to do this because you know the best organizations 
use interims in times of transition. You know, whether, it, whether it's a, a large church with a beloved minister that's leaving, whether it's a university looking for a new president, they, they use the interim model to find stability and to, to find um, that path forward to, to come out stronger out on the other end of a transition. And so I'm really grateful that you will help us to do that and that you'll be that stabilizing force for us and, and help us just continue to grow and improve into the coming election cycle. Thank you. Yep. And uh, last but not least, I echo what all my colleagues have said. I'm really excited to serve with you on the board. I do recall being a parent and talking to the board, and you were actually on the, I think it was the left-hand side of, of, the, of, the, of the podium in the, in the um, no, it was the right-hand side of the library, anyway, years ago. But um, we had the opportunity to work together on the bond and, and canvassing, but I haven't had the opportunity to work with you on a board and to learn from you, and that's what I really look forward to. I think you do bring a level of stability. Um, you know, I talked about that thought process. I remember being in a community meeting with you, and you brought out the piece of paper and started making charts and stuff like that on the on the um, on your page, uh, and, and just created a, a methodical way of weighing the pros and cons. And, and I was impressed then, and I'm I'm just looking forward to. Uh, being around that more and learning from that more. And I also thank you for extending yourself uh, to the rest of the community in helping um, potential candidates that, that do want to run uh, for, for the next year as well, because you have a lot of, uh, of knowledge and we're, we're all better, or we'll, we'll all be better for it. So thank you. Thank you.